Hi, George. This is Jim Gillis with Win My Vote, and thanks so much for linking in. And we'd definitely like to talk with you and share some ideas. I think that uh, Win My Vote lends itself perfectly to some of the things that you guys uh, want to do from an organizational standpoint. Um, so I'll give you a quick demo. The way it works is that Win My Vote is free to voters. Voters can sign up with just an email address or a social media account. Uh, they only have to type in their zip code, and with that, we can give them a a ballot for a future election that they can then work through. Uh, and the idea of the site um, is, you know, sort of like Facebook being everything social. Uh, we wanted to build a site that was everything voting. Um, so that as a voter, you know, my main concerns are when the election is, which races, you know, I need to vote on, who are the candidates running in those races, and then obviously the propositions and the measures. Um, so what we have leading up to the election is that we have you know propositions that are on the ballot officially uh, and then the next category down which unfortunately you won't see right here because this is a uh, the deadline already passed for this election because the elections already passed um, there's a category that's called potential propositions or potential measures um, and then with that uh, that's you know those are uh, again uh, initiatives or measures uh, or propositions that are in the signature gathering stage. Now, there's no, we don't have any hard, fast rules on at what point can they be featured as a potential measure. Um, you could have an idea, get a group together, you know, and and feature something as a potential uh, measure or a potential proposition, um, and then you know, reach out to your supporters, say, go to win my vote, sign up. You'll have all these additional features with your ballot and local races and state level races and all that and you know go check out potential uh, measure a you know and if you like it please support us um, and I click on measure a I read a little bit about it um, your group would be down here I could hear a little bit about it your vote makes the biggest difference right here close to home proposition a will fix and strengthen San Francisco public schools uh, and if I say yes and then sorry about that it should they all start as undecided um, and if I say yes on that, I say great, that's yes on that. And then when I go back to my ballot, uh, you know, it's indicating that I'm a supporter of that. And uh, there's not enough, you know, this is just a, a demo ballot, so there's not enough people yet because we started at a thousand. Um, but once you get to, and, and that and again, that's not a hard and fast rule either. We can start it at one if you want. Um, but with this, you can see the percentages here um, for uh, yes and undecided. And no, so you can really measure your impact. If you send it out to, you know, 10,000 emails and you know 5,000 people sign up, and then 2,000 people uh, favored it yes and 500 favored no, you know you're getting a real you know good idea um, of the strength of that. Uh, and then I'm sure you know better than I do about you know online petition signing and a variety of other rules and regulations around that. Um, I know that that is coming you know really soon. I know that in Utah, you can already do that. Um, so we can easily you know, put components uh, in here um, so that people just you know, click yes and then they fill out their form and you know, that's it. That's, that's an official yes that would then go to the state or the county um, you know, to, for that potential proposition. Um, and again, the nice thing about it is that when it turns into a real proposition, I'm still in favor of it. It still says yes. So um, from the standpoint of me, you know, interacting with your organization or an organization, um, and saying, "Yep, I'm with you guys," you know, count me in, vote yes. Um, I then don't have to continue to follow it up because I know that that's one of the biggest issues. It's one of the biggest issues here in San Francisco. Um, you see someone outside a grocery store, you sign their petition. You know, they want you to to, to donate money. They want you to go onto a list to donate money later. They want you to come to a rally. There's a variety of, of, of big commitment, you know, steps in there that that most people just aren't going to take. Um, but in this situation, you know, two days before the election comes around, I get an email from Win My Vote that says, "Hey, the election's in two days. Here's your polling place, you know, and here's all your ballot." And I can then remember, yep, Proposition 55, I'm voting yes. 53, no. 61, no. 60, no, etc. And I can go through the candidates as well, because groups and organizations can also um, uh, endorse uh, and you know promote candidates. So um, here, 
uh, again, as a voter, I can see this candidate, and I can look through and see the different groups and organizations uh, that have uh, you know, endorsed this candidate, and I can even listen to what they have to say. So I'm going to get a little serious here, because I think we can all agree that this has been... Um, and you know, with that, I, I can do the same thing that I did with the measure. I can favorite this candidate. And when I go back to the ballot, uh, this candidate now moves to the front. The nameplate turns green, and I can even see how the candidate is doing. These are percentages of favorites uh, on this ballot here. So again, I can get a really good indication. Same with the candidate. I can see those numbers and groups that are supporting that candidate as well. Um, anyway, we'd love to talk with you um, a little bit about it. You can reach me uh, almost any time at 415-867-9554. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.